Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our retro throwback review of the Sony Walkman Net MD, the MZNE410 series. Now, MD, or mini disc players, were pretty popular a few years back. It's always a super interesting format, in my opinion, because it's kind of a pivotal transition point between the bulkier, full-size DVD players and before mainstream MP3 players with flash memory really took off. And so this is kind of an in-between place where you could still pop in your own music by connecting it to a computer like a regular mp3 player but there's still some of the benefits of having a real um, disc a spinning disc in the sense that uh, audio quality is slightly better there's high fidelity versions available um, and it just seems really cool to have this mechanical system working in your pocket um, this one was a fairly uh, mid-end model back in the day and you could buy it for around you know under two hundred dollars or so and this one can now be picked up on amazon for sub 50 bucks if you're still looking for a interesting media player of sorts. So each of the mini discs can store up to 80 minutes of uh, content and you can again plug it into the computer using a proprietary uh, application that you install to manage your songs and drag it into the disc. Um, it's a spinning disc so there are moving parts which means that if you're always kind of jogging around or doing too much rigor vigorous movement it might not be the best thing in the world but it does carry the Walkman brand it's very portable and uh, easy to take with you. Let's take a closer look at the design first. Now this particular unit is made I believe in uh, what looks like Malaysia and um instead of Japan, so um, it doesn't have you know quite as much attention to detail as some of the more expensive and earlier versions, but it still is well built. It's a plastic frame on the back, in addition to some aluminum accents on the front, a small display that's LCD that shows your track information. It also does display the title of the song, which is pretty cool, as well as the track length. There's some menu keys you can group by your songs together. Um, you can change your volume controls, skip track, play, and stop. The play key also turns the unit on for the first time. The side features access to the mini USB cable for connecting it to a computer for syncing, and there's also a hold switch for locking the unit so it doesn't automatically turn on in your in your pocket. Uh, the display itself isn't backlit, so if you're in a darker environment, it is a little harder to read. There's a 3.5mm headphone cable that you can also plug into a speaker if you want to play back external sound. And finally, there is just an open a key that you tap on once to eject the mini disc um, you know, on, on the side here that just pops out like so mechanically. As aforementioned, each of these mini discs can carry roughly 80 minutes of uh, content and they come in various packages, they come by ma various manufacturers that made them, and you can still find them floating around on the internet on Amazon and on eBay for a pretty low cost if you want to buy some more to encode um, your own songs with. And afterwards, you just pop this into place uh, kind of vertically, it looks like the other orientation, and it clicks in with a satisfying click, and afterwards you can just close the entire thing up. Um, it's not completely silent, I would say, so in the case of playing back some music, um, it does vibrate a little bit for the first time, and you kind of hear it spinning almost like an older um, hard drive, so there's a little bit of sound in the background compared to uh, completely flash-based MP3 players. But as you can see here, I can play back a track almost instantly, there's not too much loading times. Skipping tracks is also fairly quick, quick, and you can see the track listing displayed on the on the screen there, scrolling back and forth. So there's not too much delay, the only thing that it takes a little longer to do is scrubbing. So if I physically skip the track by pressing for a few seconds, this is uh, a thing that takes a little longer, and you will notice that it's starting to spin the disc, and there's a bit more vibration going on, but uh, otherwise, a few seconds later, and it will play back the track just fine. So as far as scrubbing, if you're listening to longer audiobooks, this is probably not the best use of the MD format. Um, otherwise, audio quality on this unit was pretty good. It's not a high fidelity or a super hi-fi, super expensive version of this audio player, but it was reasonable enough for most consumers and folks to pick up and start using. Um, it gets reasonable loud, it has good stereo separation, and uh, it was quite easy to use and to go through the various menus and interface settings. Settings. Some final pieces of information I want to leave you guys with is this is also classified as a high-speed recorder. So it claims to record MP3s or CDs up to 32 times regular speed um, with their special uh, technology, both the software in conjunction with the device. So it claims to be pretty fast in terms of transferring content over. The Sonic Stage, which is the music management software, is a little bit of a hit or miss depending on you know people who, who like it, some people who don't, but it allows you to then uh, 
organize your tracks in terms of your artist's name, the type of genre, the tempo speed, and it correctly encodes that information so that you can see it on the LCD display. Um, otherwise, you can see that this is what the entire uh, mechanism as far as the, the logistics looks like. When you transfer information, you can edit your songs and then create a library on the computer and then transfer it onto the NetMD devices. So pretty nicely designed. Um, it does use one AA battery, which uh, is located on the very back of the unit uh, that claims to last up to eight, 56 hours of continuous playback, which is uh, pretty good and uh, certainly good enough to play back you know, your, your tracks um, and also use it maybe for longer vacations and taking it with you on the road. Um, otherwise, you can find it again used on places like Amazon and eBay, I would say, for around $50. Uh, depending on where you look and what time of year you're looking. So it's not a bad deal either if you are kind of into more of a collectibles in terms of uh, audio-based uh, products. This model in particular isn't the most high-end or I think the most sought after either, but having something like this with a mechanical switch and the ability to play back music um, in this fusion between uh, flash-based storage and, and this mechanical spinning disc, in my opinion, is really the fascinating and it makes it for a very compelling and uh, memorable device. So you can check out more details about this in our official retro article, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been our throwback retro review of the Sony Walkman NetMD MZ-NE410 series.